Wind is going to be a factor today, folks, with Hurricane Michelle heading out of the east at 24 miles per hour here in Miami. Here's our weather situation, 82 degrees, partly sunny, humidity 74%. Actually, rather comfortable here for Miami. 24 to 30 miles an hour out of the east, going right to left across your radio, your uh, TV screen. And Bobby Wallace, 47 years old, signed a three-year contract extension back in November in his fourth year at Temple. And Larry Coker, third coach in Miami history to start 6-0. And Miami Hurricanes, they won the toss, and they elected to defer. So Todd Sievers has it teed up. He is a semifinalist for the Luke Rosa Collegiate Place Kicker Award. He's having an outstanding season. And we are underway from the Orange Bowl, Big East football. And with the win, as you might expect, Sharp catches the ball out of bounds. Big guy, 6'6", 200 pounds, 47% on the season, three touches, seven interceptions, and one of the stories for the Temple Owls this year, they've had to go long field so much. Tonardo Sharks, maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Offensive line's been a problem, although Dave Yovanovitz, he's been a horse for the Owls this year. And Jeff, what a line they've got to go against. Matt Walters leads the defensive line in tackles. This is a very quick. The win really whipping through here, out of the eye. Miami showing blitz. They bring blitz on the draw. Nowhere to go. Swarm Thunder is going to leave a third down and long. Toronto Sharps, you've seen him in action. Jason McKee, pretty solid blocking back. Dillard, their number one receiver. Vilma, you've seen a lot of him these first two plays. DJ Williams, a converted fullback, outstanding on the corner. And Edward Reed, one of the captains, got six picks and 12 after that loss of four out of the gun for the Owls. Keep it very conservative. Amore is on the punt against the win, and he did a heck of a job to get it to go that far. The bounce, Buchanan, cost his team about 15 yards by not catching the ball. We're battling the wind in the booth. There's Ken Dorsey. You can hear our papers rattling around. There's two ten at Durham 35. On the throw, he's got the wind over the middle and drop. Bryant McKinney, Joaquin Gonzalez. Jeff, have you ever seen a better pair of tackles in college football? They're the best two offensive tackles combo in the nation right now. Dan Klecko, Joe's young man. You know what? He's a good football player, makes a lot of things happen. There's a nice tackle at the 40-yard line. Clinton Portis, outstanding run. Just picked up six on that play. Davenport. Good blocker, not running the ball a lot this year. Taylor Suman, Jeff, seems like he's been around forever. Led the conference in tackles the last two years. And Akeef Staples getting a start inside at linebacker as opposed to defensive end due to injury. Jamal Wallace, free safety, a good one for Temple. On the 41, a little swing pass. And hit right off the pads of Porter. Same thing happening with Dan. Freddie Kepcha, hunting with the win. Oh, hangs out high. Oh, did he get that one? Woo! Nailed it five yards deep into the end zone. Going into a very strong win. Sharks to the edge, 25, 30. First down and more down the sideline, and finally run out of bounds at the 36-yard line again. One of the things they've had problems with, going long field. They pick up the blitz. Sharps cuts inside. Nice gain again, 42-yard line. And a snap. Botched and it was applied towards the rushing total. They'll keep it on the ground. Sharps. Oh, yeah, big play. Number 17 got in there. DJ Williams. Temple just converting 26% on third down. Lynch coming. Little play action. McGann, first down and more. Carpenter into Miami territory out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Coordinator expects Temple to take a few deep shots here. Short shot that time. Vilma covering the second down and 10 for the Miami 45. Oh, and a run straight up the middle. Talking about the mindset of winning and losing. Uh oh, and this is the type of thing that's happened to the Owls all year. Just when you think they've got it going on. Doesn't practice during the week, plays the game. More into the win. This time, Buchanan makes the catch at the 32. Got room. What a scramble here. That's going to take a while to sort this out. Oh, my goodness. Miami recovered at the 19-yard line. The Kings in great shape here. First and 10 at the Temple 22. 47 yards on that return. They had a good 30-yard look like on that return. 
on the uh, fumble. Dorsey, Clinton Portis into the second wave. John Lacey hit him, but Portis fights his way to about the 14 year. He balls at the 15. Dorsey's looking that way all the way. And Miami is on the board. Touchdown, Kevin Beard. 15 yards, his second TD for Kevin Beard. And for Dorsey, his 14th of the season, but more importantly, his 49th career touchdown pass, establishing a Miami record. They tend to give a lot of cushion, and that they did. Miami saw it, took advantage of it. Point after by Seavers. He's 33 of 34 now on the season. Two plays, 22, uh, 22 yards in just 50 seconds. It's seven nothing Miami. All hands on deck and all the weather channels and news stations down here. Seavers got a chance to return this. Maybe not. Six yards deep. Sharp to keep it right there. And I'm the business. One of the great calls in the history of the NFL. And this one's against Temple. First down play. Third time, Temple's had the ball. Again, long field again. Sharks. Look at that surge from the D line by Miami. Second down and 10 at the 10. All up the middle for a tremor. And again, it was that one snap that went, seemed like it rolled forever. A couple of nice cuts, but nowhere to run. Chris Campbell, some things throwing the ball. Second punt. Oh, he shanked this one. You golfers out there, you could relate to that one. Goodness gracious. The average touchdown drive for the Canes, two minutes. And look at this, talk about a short field from the 32, little play action. Dorsey flushed. Steps and throws and gets it over to Davenport. Give him confidence in the pocket to step up and deliver the football. Good things happen. Loss was about two on that play, so here's Portis gliding, and he gets back to maybe the line, original line of scrimmage. One coverage, third down and 11. Dorsey got time, steps, throw, badly overthrows, penalty flat. We have multiple fouls on the play against the defense. We have holding through a forward pass play, defense, that penalty will be declined. We have rough net passer against the defense, 15 yards, previous spot, automatic first down. Inside the 20 at the 19 yard line, draw play, Portis running, good fake, unbelievable fake. How about Dorsey all day? Throw fucking up. Portis carried out the fake as well as you should anybody carry one out. This time looking for running room. Stop, starts, and paid for. Got back Portis, four carries, 14 yards. Own setback and Fleco move. Will be a penalty against Temple. <laughs> Good ball, offsides, defense, contact foul. Five yard penalty remains third down. Will be to Dorsey's right. Quick snap. Five guys out. Beard's got it. Dragged down at about the eight yard line. He's right about first down yardage. Joel Rodriguez is in at center now. Tight end in motion. Portis. Oh, he got hit in the backfield. How about that? Raheem Brock. Temple is held. Temple takes over after an outstanding play by Raheem Brock. 7 0 for the Hurricanes. Sharks with the call. And ran up the back of one of his blockers. Second in the conference. Second down play. Shot for a lot of bodies there. I mean, nowhere to run. Slant is there. And for a first down to the 22-yard line. The room for the outs at the 22. Oh, he stumbled. 21-yard line. Big hole opens up and then closes down quickly. Jonathan Vilman. Here's McGann going to throw. Knocked down. The big Paul William Joseph stood up right in the hole. You're right. They uh, clock management. Look out. Boy, he got this punt. How about this? Temple finally really gets it out of harm's way. Dorsey, three of six, 17 yards, and one touchdown to this point. Here's Gore. Frank Gore averaging 10 yards a carry. Picks up a quick five. And one quarter is in the books. And here's one of the big plays. The fumble that advanced the ball a good 17 yards for the Hurricanes. And they converted it into this score. 7-0 as we head into the second quarter. You're watching Big East football from ESPN+.
as we start the second quarter. Second down and five at the 30. Little roll out by Dorsey. Nice throw. Jeremy Shockey blasted down at the 45 yard line. After that completion to Shockey's tight end. Here's Gore turning the corner. And they get him before he does any further damage. It's holding Miami to only 35 total yards of offense. Miami heading into the win. Here's a draw. Here's Gore. First down and more. Inside the 40 to the 38. Three carries, 23 yards already. Penalty flag. Good ball, false start. Gets the offense. Five yards, remains first down. The 42. Again, Miami heading into the win. Give it out to Beard. And again, that big cushion that Temple gives on the corners. No thank you. Yeah. Not to mention they get Gore in the game, too, and he can break one in a heartbeat. However, they get him here. Good play. Taylor Suman got an assist. Portis the lone setback. He gets the call. Draw. Temple stymies it. Picked up about two, maybe three yards. Punt on the first possession. See if he goes to the coffin corner. Sure. Hanged it high. Can they down it? No, sir. First and ten for Temple at the 20 yard line. First time with the win. Sharps. Moves it ahead for about three, maybe four. Just don't fall on your own players. That's right. Almost borders on a lead. A little play action. And with time, again, steps, throws. Got his man, leading receiver, Dillon. First down, Temple. They show blitz on the top. Run away from it. Nice cut. Pretty decent game by Trammer. 37-yard line. Again, it's going to go out of the gun. Inside handoff. Running right into the teeth of the defense. Two for six on third down today. The rollout. And he slips. My goodness. Back to the 28 yard line. First team all Big East kick returner a year ago. With the win, this kick got hammered. Look at this. Jones all the way back to about the 18 yard line and taken down on the first wave. Big East football. I'm Dave Sims. Jeff Bostick with us. And the Hurricanes put it in play. And a nice run down the sideline. Quick. Clinton Portis to about the 46-yard line. Freshman Gore, his 10 yards for carry coming into today's game. Here's Dorsey. Backside. Didn't see the blitz. Throws underneath. Tight end. Second down play. They run the draw. Portis. Boy, he had any number of holes to pick. Beard's the wide receiver. Jones the slot man. Looking for the tight end. Find the tight end. Keeps it alive. Close to the first down. Second quarter, 7-0. Miami over Temple. Portis. Cut back. First down and more to about the 24-yard line. Picked up split wide right. Play action. Dorsey's flush. Dorsey is sacked. First time since Temple got him last year. Second and 29 from the 43-yard line. Dorsey short out, Jockey. Oh man, head to head, he keeps going. Loose ball. It's picked up by Miami. How about that break? They get it down to the 29 yard line. Gain of 13, still third and long at the 16. Dorsey, flush, throws. Heck of a catch inside the 10. That's good for a first and goal. For first and goal at the 7. Portis is the deep back. He gets the call, right side. Couple of good blocks. Touchdown, Miami. Portis, a seven-yard run, his sixth TD of the season, 13-0 Canes. It's who's going to win the trophy. If there's anybody more important to their football team than Ken Dorsey, show me. Seavers with another point after. Solid blocking on the right side allowed Portis to have an easy way into the end zone. 14-0 Canes, you're watching Big East Football from ESPN+. Plus. Receivers into the win. Hangs it high. Taken at the 19-yard line. And boy, I tell you what, there's that speed again, folks. That Miami speed. 341 to go in the second quarter. They run sharp. Sharps breaks into the secondary. 25 to the edge. Got the first down to the 29-yard line. First down from the Temple 31. Keep it on the ground. Another nice game. Lester Trammer this time. Second down and six. 
Inside handoff. Trammer. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. So you've got to stretch the field or you bring the entire Miami defense into the box. There's a quarterback draw again. First down. Taken down by Vilma. Wide out. Miami secondary showing blitz. They bring blitz. They run right at it. Into the secondary. And a nice run by Trammer. And out of the gun. How about this? They've got the wind and they keep it on the ground. Boy, that is, I'm really curious about that. Maybe this is where they take a deep shot. Play action, McGinn. Throwing and through the hands of the fullback, Jason McKee. Hangs it high. And catch me at the 20. Look at this. Look at this. Ta-da! He got tripped up. He had a convoy down the sideline. Well, let's see what Miami does. Looks like Miami's they're just going to take a knee. I'm telling you, that is the most unusual. That doesn't surprise me taking a knee there, 14 up. But what was Temple thinking with the win, take no deep shots at all to end the first half? And when you look on the scoreboard, the number is still zero for the Owls. First half in the books here at Miami. Kane's number one in the nation. They've got a 14 nothing lead. Cap Pacalumba, junior from Westminster, Maryland. Puts his foot into it, drives it, and we're going to bring it out. 10-15, that's Andre Johnson, and Johnson gets to about the 22-yard line. Najee Davenport is the fullback. He goes in motion. Port is trying to turn the corner. Pretty good job there. Things happen. You've seen a tremendous effort so far in the first 30 minutes. Sure enough, Dorsey throws over the middle. Whoa, almost a heck of a catch by Beard. No flags, Dorsey throws off his back foot. Favorite receiver, Shockey, first down, 35 on his feet, 40, 45. Can they catch him? 40, 40, inside the 40 to the 35-yard line. From the 35, first and 10 for Miami. Dorsey going to throw into the wind again. Oh, he got hit, got rid of it, oh, picked off. Being pushed back into the backfield. Staples had a chance for the interception. Portis. For about four, Suman was there. Third and six. Outside. They've got ethnic Sands, and Sands taking that shot at the first down. Best, the 42-yarder at Penn State. Penalty flags. I think Temple's got 12 people on the oh, field. Brother, you believe this? Dorsey, not wasting any time. He's going for it now. Buys time. Somebody comes alive, throw, oh, what catch at the 11-yard line. It's Shockey. Second down and one. There is a play action down if there ever was one. Play action, throw it, man open, touchdown Miami. Andre Johnson, his seventh of the year. It's the 11-yard score, 20 to nothing, Miami. Touching to start the third quarter, and two big ones to add to it. Boy, and Andrews, money in the bank. Exactly 11 minutes to go, third quarter. Nine plays, 78 yards, four minutes off the clock. The first catch by Johnson today, and it's a beauty. An 11-yarder on the play action by Dorsey. The kid is so poised, he makes it look easy. We go to break with Miami leading 21 to nothing. You're watching Big East Football from ESPN+. Plus. That was as bad a one as, as we've seen all year when you've got a team going for a 43-yard field goal. Short kick taken down at the 21-yard line. Well, Temple's got 10.53 to have the wind at their backs. They keep it on the ground in the Big East last year. Miami showing blitz. They bring blitz. Nowhere to go for Sharks. They run up the middle. You wonder what goes on inside the huddle when you continue to hear those amount of runs called. Yeah. Miami, 18 runs, 18 passes. McGann, throw, drop. 32-yard line. Movement by Temple, penalty flag. You saw a couple of flinches there. One of the deep backs on the right. 9.29 to go, third quarter. 21-0 Miami, low snap. They go after him. Lori gets it off. On the 35, you can't. Looking for a wall. And gets it. And a penalty flag late. Doing a return. Illegal block in the back. Above the waist, return team. 10 yards, in spot of the foul, will be first down. Psycho 
Shirko and Ahaji Rasuli, the left guard, went to the locker room, cramped up. Here's Frank Gore to the edge. Nice, solid tackle. And sure enough, penalty flag on the play. Gore straight ahead for about four, but a pick. Offsides, defense, five yard penalty remains second down. Fashionable. The Mad Stork played with the Colts in Baltimore and then went out with the Raiders. Najee Davenport, they give him a little taste. Well, he was jogging with somebody about two plays ago, so 21 0, and that's where we are right now. Third down and two at the 41. Good throw. Outside, stiff arm effective. Jason Gethers, his first catch. And he went to Syracuse on a lacrosse scholarship. Yep. Dorsey looked down his progressions. Gore in open field. Look out. Nice move. Great tackle, though, by Sean Lacey. 178 yards and two touchdowns. Out of the eye. Average game, huh? <laughs> yeah. Beard in motion. Gore gets the call. Looking for a home run ball. He's into about the 28-yard line. I, tell you, I think Miami's the best team in the country. You know what? It's not up to me. Pump and go. Ball. Look at a win. Oh, and it works out. It's still. There's a penalty flag. That's interference called, so first and ten for Miami. Actually, I think from this from the spot. Dorsey, oh, good block. Got time. Got some people running free. Took a shot at Johnson down there. Tight end, wing on the right. Man in motion as Robert Williams. Gore breaks it back against the green. To the five. Stays on his feet. Touchdown, Miami. Frank Gore, 13 yards on the score. What great vision this young man has. Severs with the point after is good. So it's 6.06 to go, third quarter. Here at the Orange Bowl, the Canes, the number one team in the nation. After the Frank Gore touchdown run, has a 28 to nothing lead over the Temple House here at the Orange Bowl. You're watching Biggie's Football from ESPN+. Plus. Severs kick off into the wind, hanging up there. Taking it about the eight-yard line, and the field opens up rather nicely here for Temple. And down the sideline with one man to beat. A great return. They kept in the 42-yard line of Miami. Play action began. Rolling, throwing, can't hit his tight end. Tried to get it to Eric Carpenter. Fenton's career best 51-yard kickoff return. Play action. The cat stays in. Got a man overthrows. Muckers hit. Look out. That's a pick by Edward Reed. He's got a convoy down the sideline. Stays alive. Edward Reed still alive. And finally brought down at the 40. And that's a record-breaking interception by Edward Reed, his 19th of his career. Miami guilty of an illegal block below the waist. Miami. First down play, Johnson. Nice tackle. Again, do you wonder why the BCS has Miami where they are? Try to go outside with Portis. Cuts it back. Look at his speed. First down, Miami. All right, but have the ability to run 4 3. Portis again. Cuts it up. Got hammered, but picked up eight. Gonzalez switched over to the left side. Straight up the middle. Najee Davenport for the first down for Miami. Edward Reed being acknowledged by the fans here at the Orange Bowl. First and 10 for the Canes at the Temple 43. Dorsey going to throw. Over the middle, throw behind, shot, and triple cover. And they'll stop that one. That ball, four start, offense. Five yard penalty, remains second down. Syracuse has not lost a game we've broadcast. <laughs> I sure Mike Parsons and company wanted to hear that. And they finished the season with uh, Washington. That's right. Out of the gun this time. Third and 15. Three of seven on third down. Dorsey's going to run in. Stays alive. He's looking at the sticks. Nice. Oh, he got hit. Good hit. Here's Severs for the punt. Check that. Pretty capture. It's coming back. How about the good call? The ball. 
Temple with the ball, Perry deep in its own territory. His running back just got abused. Tornado Sharps to this point. Well, that's a very significant number. And we've seen them a lot of these guys on some is blitz blown up. Beautiful play, Chris Campbell. Here in the first half, keep it on the ground for about two. Let's see if they go after this punt. With the win, got an end over end job. Buchanan from the 48, plenty of space, eludes the first wave. Looking for help, got the help. Found the orange jersey. Look out! Here he goes! To the 10, to the 5, touchdown Miami! 52 yards on the return. Point after, no problem by Seavers. Starting the fourth quarter. Dave Sims, Jeff Bostic with you at the Orange Bowl. Windy conditions, and speaking of wind, Temple's going into it. Good second effort here, get to the court. First down for the Owls. After the play, we have a dead ball, lay hit against the defense. We also have a dead ball, personal foul, offense, unnecessary roughness. Those penalties will offset. It's a squad. Yep. Ten returning starters. Blitz coming. It's like a fumble. And recovered by Miami. Saw the blitz coming, got anxious. Dorsey's day is gone, is done. Derek Crudup, redshirt freshman from Deerfield Beach, Florida. Gonna get a chance to run the show right now. Look at his hand on a jet right up the middle. Clinton Porter's for nine. County. And, and that there's your answer. First down, Portis looking for more. First and 10 inside the 40, 37 yard line. Credit, first passing attempt on the run. Heck of an effort. Did they give him the catch? No, sir. How about Walt Harris? Boy, they <laughs> fumble, loose ball. Portis never really put it away. Loose ball looks like Temple recovered. Recovered by Yazid Jackson. I don't think there's any question about it. And you know what it was? Here's Fenton getting another carry into the secondary. Stumbles down at the 42 yard. You know, you, you kind of suck your thumb and kind of mope around for a week, and all of a sudden you got another game That's to play. Exactly right. And no. Do we see Oklahoma, Nebraska, number three for yeah. the national championship? Yeah. If you're a Miami fan, and this one broke cleanly for a first down, straight up the middle. The 50 yard line. Couldn't ask for a better seat here, let me tell you. Play action by McGann. Sideline ball. Caught out of bounds by Dillard. There's Miami about to go to 7 0, 4 0 in the conference. Fenton gets the carry. Good job following his, his guard. On the reluctant to put it in the air. The wrong situation here. Blitz forces McGann to run to the edge. He's close to a first down. Matter of fact, he got it. He, he got too deep on the DL, too deep on the O, on the o line. And you got running back by committee. Oh. This week. I don't think so. Blitz from the corner. Oh, is that blown up beautifully or what? Blitz again. McGann. Down he goes. This time Marquise Fitzgerald goes back in punt return formation. A high kick that the wind just knocked down. And it'll be down at the 20-yard line. What movie we going to? I'll tell you what people are talking about down here. Where is this hurricane going to hit? You ain't lying. Here's a hurricane right now. Mr. Gore. Who's here? First and 10 to the cage. Cut up. A loose pressure momentarily. Got rid of it. No, no, that's not going to work. Back in the neighborhood, that works. Back in the neighborhood, that works beautifully. How at least. The on the play. The ruling on the field is that we had a fumble. Recovered and advanced legally by the offense. Whoa, so big fella does get credit. That's tape at the top of the shoes. Oh, man. Look at Cole. Look at this guy. Lacey saves six. Well, also, <laughs> the truth. He just joined us. Pittsburgh is killing Virginia Tech at Pittsburgh. Portis gets another carry to the 19-yard line. Evaporates. They still have a buck 15 to go third period. Credit. Got time, sets, throws behind his receiver. Will be one. Oh, there's no question. Gonzalez, maybe. Here's Gore again. Caught from behind by Klecko. And following the footsteps of his dad. 37-yard field goal with the win. 
Plenty of juice on it, and it's good. So Seavers on the season now 12 out of 14. Tack on another three for the Miami Hurricanes. 6.05 to go in the ball game. Canes lead it 38 nothing. You're watching Biggie's football from ESPN Plus. And they're taking, you know, yeah. power running attacks. The Lord knows that's uh, what Nebraska would be bringing to the table. Nothing like having a little wind at your back. Keep it up the middle. Temp allows a 97 D2 championship game. Won three championships in a row. Oh, there's a football play. Should be stayed again. Illinois and North Alabama. He recruited Bo Jackson. Trammer to the outside. 38 nothing. A shovel pass. What a quarterback got creamed. Absolutely got creamed. Weight room, all of a sudden we got 260. No question. Here's a guy that's seen a lot of daylight today. And he has run very effectively, not only from scrimmage here in the second half, but also on kickoff returns. Keeping their interest stoked here. Again, Chins to play. The left guard moves too quickly. No penalty flag. McGann's going to take it and down he goes at the 18 yard line. Six carries, 61 yards rush. That give Larry Coker something to complain about. Yeah, right. Inside handoff, penalty flag. So we've seen Good people ball. almost Four get their start. head. Offense, five yard penalty, still second down. To the southwest of Cuba. Fake it, screen, nowhere. Portis, a seven yard run to make it 14 0. Loose ball, Miami's got it. And the shutout looks like it's going to stand up. Look at this move to the cross the 35, 36 yard line. He got that next week. Why is Frank Gore in the game? Penalty flag. When the run, holding offense. 10 yards, the spot of the foul remains second down. Miami is on your list and vice versa. Straight up the middle. Maybe to the 30th. Jeremy Shockey back. Remarkable. Incredible. Keeps it alive. Oh, got a nice block. Another nice block. Throws. He got a man running deep down. Be a nice catch. Oh, almost had to catch. Personal foul. Defense. Tackling with the helmet. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Crowd being informed that Clinton Portis is going over the 2000 mark in his career rushing. And that will do it. A no doubt about her here, particularly in the second half. 38 to nothing, the final. The Miami Hurricanes, number one in the nation. They exercise their might this afternoon. Knocking off the Temple House for the 10th straight time in Big East play. We'll be back to the Orange Bowl after this timeout. No question about this one, 38-0. You're watching Big East football from ESPN+.